The Old Testament reading this morning comes from uh, Psalm 112, verses 1 through 10, and I'm reading from a contemporary English version. 112, 1 through 10. <clears throat> Shout praise to the Lord, who worships Him and gladly, and bless everyone who, who worships Him and gladly obeys His teachings. The descendants will have great power in the land because the Lord blesses all who do right. They will get rich and prosper mm -hmm. and will always be remembered for their fairness. They will be so kind and merciful and good and they will be a light in the dark for others who do the right thing. Life will go well for those who freely lend and, the, and are home <clears throat> and are honest and in business. They won't over be troubled and the, the kind of things that do will never be forgotten. Bad news won't, won't bother them. They have decided to trust the Lord. They are depend, dependable and uh, not afraid, and they will live to see their enemies defeated. They will always be remembered and greatly praised because they were kind and freely gave to the poor. When evil people see this, they angrily bite their tongues and disappear. They will never get what they really want. Salt and Light, Matthew 5, 13 through 20. Mm -hmm. You are the salt of the earth, but if the salt loses its saltness, how can it be made salty again? It is no longer good for anything except to be thrown out and trampled underfoot. You are the light of the world. A town built on a hill cannot be hidden. Neither do people light a lamp and put it under a bowl. Instead, they put it on its stand, and it gives light to everyone in the house. In the same way, let your light shine before others, that they may see your good deeds and glorify your Father in heaven. Do not think that I have come to abolish the law or the prophets. I have not come to abolish them, but to fulfill them. For truly, I tell you, until heaven and earth disappear, not the smallest letter, not the least stroke of a pen, will by any means disappear from the law until everything is accomplished. Therefore, anyone who sets aside one of the least of these commands and teaches others accordingly will be called least in the kingdom of heaven. But whosoever practices and teaches these commands will be called great into the kingdom of heaven. For I tell you, that unless your righteousness surpasses that of the Pharisees and the teachers, teachers of the law, you will certainly not enter the kingdom of heaven. The word of God for the people of God. 